Hi everybody, welcome to Wool and Wine, episode one, season one. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Tammy. I'm Claudia. And I'm Janet. So we've decided we're three girlfriends who love to knit, love to drink wine, <laughs> love to play golf, and do all the things together. And we decided we wanted to do a podcast and talk about all of our makes because we also enjoy watching lots of podcasts. So we've also decided that we'd like to follow the typical um, format, which is talking about what we're wearing, works in, or finished objects, I guess we would do first, and then works in progress. So we've also decided that it would be a good idea to talk about sweater surgery occasionally because all you fellow knitters out there know that that's something that we all have to do. We never really get it the time. quite right every time. And also what we're planning. So do you want to talk about the wine that we're going to taste in a bit? Oh yeah. So, wool and wine has a reason. We're all winos. <laughs> I know you probably can't see that, but yep. this, this is a Sylvestrin 100% cab, and we are going to be opening this later and doing our own little taste test. <laughs> That's going to be yummy. It will be yummy. So, Claudia, do you want to start with what you're wearing? I will. Okay, so I have the Rocket. T meaning R O C K it T because <laughs> I think when I first looked it up I looked up the rocket with an E and it didn't come up so now you know so I knit a size 44 on a number three needle and the yarns that I use is the uh, whole scar and super soft and then so was it two years ago I bought two or three years ago I was at a yarn store and I saw this really really cool mohair. It's uh, by Yoshi and Lucy, and it's called Dark Magic. And I gave each one of us a, each one of us had a skein of that. And so we've been holding on to it, trying to figure out what to do with it. And Janet found that, that uh, pattern. And so that's how we ended up, we all, actually we all ended up knitting this. But we used different colors of solids to go with the, the um, mohair. So, yeah, they're all really beautiful. They are beautiful yeah. and they're all different. When you put them on, it's like you wouldn't even know it's the same sweater, basically, except for the cut. Right. So, yeah. Right. So it was a fun project. And so what did you hold with that? What did you hold with your um, mohair? Nothing. It's just straight mohair. But it's whole scarn, right? The whole scarn, yeah. Did yeah. you already say that? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's okay. It's no problem. Yeah, it's Sorry. a whole scarf, and I, I can't remember the color, and I didn't put it in my, my uh, Ravelry page, but it is the super soft whole scarf, and it's a dark gray, so which I think uh, looks really well with the, um, the mohair. Pulls out a lot of the colors, and so... It does. Did you do any modifications? I don't oh, think I think I'm, I added a couple extra repeats on the sleeve because I think the the cap sleeve ends like here and so I just added a few extra rows because I wanted a little bit longer sleeve so that was all the modifications I made okay that, it came right fr right out of the pattern do you want to go next sure so this is the feldspar tea trying to Stick it up here so you can see. <laughs> it has some beautiful uh, pearl rows. Um, and I made this. It is a pattern from Hannah Lubin. Um, this is the, and it, the Banana Pop is the yarn that I used, uh, which is 50% cotton. Did you need bamboo? Yeah, what <laughs> Banana. Banana. <laughs> <laughs> it bamboo, is, pop. bamboo yes. pop yes it has 50 percent of the bamboo and 50 percent cotton and it is wonderful it is and i did my modification was i made it a little longer because it was shorter than i really wanted it so i probably made it a couple maybe three inches longer 
so it wasn't so cropped. Yeah, because I think the original pattern is very cropped, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Um, and I think the sleeves, I might have made them a little longer also. I'm not sure. It's but gorgeous. It turned out really it well. It's great. Yeah, I'm happy absolutely. with it. It's gorgeous. Anything uh -huh. else to say about that one? No. Okay. So I'm wearing the Miss Arena, and that's by Caitlin Hunter. So the main color is in Linen Quill by Pearl Soho in the color Deep Water. And I think I'm going to knit another one of these, but honestly, I don't think I would use as dark of yarn because you can't, there's all these beautiful cables and lace up here, and you can't really see it in the darker yarn. So I think that my next one's probably going to be in something much lighter. Um, the lighter color, I call these tulips. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they're gorgeous. They're glorious color work flowers. Um, that is Zen Yarn Garden Serenity 20, and it's a one-of-a-kind colorway. So it's really kind of just a pale blue-gray with little sprinkles of purple in it. And I don't think I made any modifications to it. I, I think I knit it exactly to pattern. Uh, I, I, if I did make any, I don't know. Um, you know what, before we move on, we should probably say that everything we're talking about, we all have a Ravelry page. Mine is Tambra A Knits. And mine is Janet C Knits. And mine is Claudia R Knits. We have a theme going here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we started it like that and in hopes of someday doing a podcast and being able to make it easier for all of you out there to um, find our projects. But it's taken us quite a while. <laughs> yeah. We've actually been knitting together for three years now. I know, that's three crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. this is my first time knitting, so um, I've really enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, I right. this I didn't knit. I used to crochet, but that was about it. Yeah. And so yeah, yeah. Tammy it, is is our guru. So <laughs> she kind of got us into it. And, yeah, <laughs> and got yeah. us going and really inspired. She's us. been very patient oh, and worked with us all along the way. That's really cool. So my grandma taught me to crochet when I was probably uh, eight, nine, somewhere around there, and also she taught me to knit. I totally forgot how to knit and I continued to crochet over the years and made lots and lots of things for kids and grandkids and I decided at one point that I needed to make color work so I didn't have anybody around so I just started going on YouTube which I think is a fabulous resource and figured it out and I didn't have anybody to tell me it was hard so I didn't know. <laughs> you don't know what you don't know so that's so true it worked out it worked out beautifully so mm -hmm. okay so I guess what we should do is get into finished objects okay did you bring I didn't bring any this time this is my finished object it is pretty recent right it is pretty recent yeah um, next time I'll I'll bring some finished objects because I know you have some other ones. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah. a few. Well, that'll give you guys <laughs> more to look at later. So yeah. it'll work out. How about you, Janet? Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> the metamorphic was a pattern that came out um, from Andrea Mowry a month or so or two ago. Can I hold that and, closer to the camera? Um, because this is so glorious. Oops, I don't know if I can stand up. Let me see. Let me get it. This is glorious, people. Look at this. Uh. So, and for this, I did use the Knit Picks Gloss Decay, which is the blue. It's called River Rock, which is 70% wool and 30% silk. So it's really, it's really lovely. I know. It's glorious. glorious. I know. It is beautiful. Uh. And for the other, the, the other color, not the main, this, the blue is the main color. And then the, the Yarn Hero Fiber Arts um, Merge Sport is what I used um, for the other color with the greens and all the varieties of colors. And it is called the Reptile House and it is 100% merino wool. Absolutely glorious. Mm -hmm. It feels so good. 
Yeah, I'm actually doing this, and I'll show you my whip in a little bit, and I'm doing the same yarn, just different colors. Yeah, I'll tell you yes. what, that Yarn Hero is probably half the price of Spin Cycle, and I'm not, we're not yarn snobs, and we're not shaming Spin Cycle in any way, because I, I actually intend to knit something with it at some point, but um, gosh, that's just glorious. All right, so I have one that, because um, I have three here, so okay, I'll go ahead and talk about this one. So this one is Roll Over the Top by Hinterm Stein. I'm going to try to not put it in front of my face while I'm talking. It can be in front of mine. Now. Oh, there you go. I'll put it in front of Claudia for now. So it's a little bit wrinkled, but it's got this uh, really cool pearl stitch section down the side and I did make modifications to this. I love that. Um, so this is done in BC Garn Alino in the colorway 07. It's light gray. It's kind of like a pearl gray. Um, it's a DK weight yarn and it's 50% cotton, 50% linen. So modifications I made are really, um, the way she has designed the pattern, you're not supposed to have to do any finishing along the sleeve edge or the neck edge, but I didn't like, and it's probably my own problem in the way that I slipped the stitch she had you slip the last stitch in the first stitch so depending on which way you were going and they didn't look even to me one looked really good and the other looked kind of loose so i ended up doing i think a three stitch i cord just by picking up every stitch around the edge and i'm not sure if you can see yeah i think you probably can the other modification was on her original pattern, she's got a split hem on the side, but uh, I didn't want it to be real long. And in order for the split hem part, and I didn't mean just split, it's like this whole garter side was gonna be ending and then the front would be one length and the back another. And I just didn't wanna make it long enough for the garter bits to cover my skin on my sides. So I made that um, just a two by two rib all the way around and I love it. It's beautiful. So I wore it the other day. I had a mm -hmm. pair of gray pants that I purchased and I didn't have anything to wear with them. So what the heck, I made something. So <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, you have another, right? Yes. So I made the Baba Loop sweater. And this one is by Kay Hopkins. Here, I'll hold it up so you can they can see your mouth while you talk. And I love it. Um, I use the Knit Picks Capra DK, uh, which is 85% merino and 15% cashmere. Very soft. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can definitely um, feel the yeah. cashmere. <laughs> yes, this is the Magnolia Heather. So this... This sweater originally is in one color, but this Magnolia Heather just did not look good on my skin. So I made a little bit of a, a change by putting um, another color. And so I used the Yarn Collective Rivoli Sport. Um, Henry Plum is the color of this one. So beautiful. And this one's 85% Merino, 35% uh, Alpaca, and 30% Silk. So it is just very soft. They're both. Mm -hmm. And beautiful It's just yeah. glorious. But look at Thank those you. bobbles in there. Oh my goodness, people. <laughs> so I made these early spring. So got to wear them like one time and pretty much can't wear them now until fall. So um, did you make any other I'll be looking forward to that. Did you were the sleeves um, this um nice and not quite a um, balloon mm -hmm. sleeve, but was the original like that? I don't even know. Um, yes, I think I made the sleeves just as pattern, according to the pattern. I did make the uh, ribbing a little bit longer than what it was in the pattern. 
But other than that, that, those were the only modifications. So that has a folded over neck? Yes. Oh, that is just oh, yeah, so soft and squishy. So <laughs> yeah, and I love to put the tags in. Handmade with love by Janet. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, so cute. Those are my more recent finished objects. Yeah, awesome. So you've done a lot of sweaters by Kay Hopkins. Yes, I really like her patterns. They're very written very clearly. Yeah, you'll have and to wear some really of those. nice. Yeah, yeah. Like as it gets cooler, because a lot of them are um, Long more sleep. winter time mm -hmm. or fall, fall winter kind of things. Okay, yes. so I have two more finished. Well, actually, one more finished object. Um, this one is the Amos T. It's A M E S S T by Pacific Knot. And I really did a lot of modifications to this. So the original pattern has no finishing at the neck or the sleeves. Um, I think she, again, just has you slip that first stitch. And it also has a, um, a pearl bump, like a single pearl bump pattern on it. And I'm using Barocco Mantra, so this is the yarn. I'm not sure how well that's going to show up. I hope it's really um, nice and clear. But the colorway is 4433 Toffee, and it's 100% silk, and it's a DK weight, but it's kind of a slubby yarn. It's not one of those shiny, smooth silks. So the pearl bump, which I tried, looked more like a mistake or a slub than it did an actual um, like pattern. So some couple of years ago maybe, I made the Bentley cardigan and it had a really cool little cluster stitch pattern in it. Can you hold Absolutely. that up? Absolutely. Because I, yes. yeah, I can't get close enough. I've got bags at my feet. <laughs> so it, I ended up doing this really cool little cluster stitch at the same intervals as the pearl bumps would have been. And yeah, yeah, so isn't that cool? I love it. Yeah. So it's, it's super drapey. drapey. Yeah. And right, I mean, it looks. Has that been blocked? Yeah, it's been blocked and it's just like, oh, so oh, drapey. So drapey and soft. Yeah, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of sweater surgery. So it was quite low at the neck and i didn't like the way the armholes were rolling so i ended up doing i think four rows of ribbing around um, that and we have mm, i was gonna say we have all knit here i can take that back um we've all knit the daily pullover you're working on yours right mm -hmm. you haven't started it yet okay Two of, out of three of us have knit that. Um, and it had this really cool neckline um, with the ribbing and the way that that center stitch was done with a slip stitch, it just looked really good. Um, so I decided, because it was way too low for public, and I just think this is gonna be so great to wear, um, I decided to pick up the stitches and do a deeper neckline or to maybe make a not so deep neck neckline. Mm -hmm. A wider, wider yeah, ribbing. Yeah, ribbing. And so after I blocked it, I decided that it still wasn't quite ready for public. Um, so I'm gonna have to- Her pick, husband likes it though. Yeah, Rick <laughs> likes it a lot. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick out the bind off and add uh, maybe four more rows just so I can wear it in public and not feel self-conscious about it. But otherwise, I absolutely love it and I highly recommend the pattern. I just think that it needed a little bit more and I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this one. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Claudia, I think. Whips, is it time for whips? I think it's time. <laughs> <laughs> it's whip time, no whipping. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is my Cozy X, and this is Hinternstein too, all? It I think is. So. Yes. So, I don't know if you can see it. I have the body finished, 
Yeah. And can you is it showing here? We can. There? Why don't we hold okay. it over here yeah. so you yeah. can talk? Yeah. And I just absolutely love the pattern. It's a fun pattern to do because Step it's... Step over in frame, kiddo. There you go. Because it, it's, it, yeah, it's, um, it has these, was it uh, broken rib? Yeah. And it's such a neat pattern. So when you're going through, you know, I don't get too bored with it because I have something I'm looking forward to as far as doing this, this broken rib. On the side, I am considering a modification, though, because... It's it's kind of wide. It's it just seems really wide, and I don't like the way it hits me. So I might end up picking up some stitches and just enclosing this a little bit. The back is a little bit longer. I did one more repeat to make the back a little bit longer. But the yarn that I used is Expression Fiber Arts a Twisted Tweed Sport, and it is a forty-two percent wool. 43% superwash, merino, and 50% Donegal. And you can't spit splice it because it, um, which kind of surprised me because with the superwash, I didn't think we could oh, split splice it. Oh, Yeah. Yep, just mm -hmm. take it apart and spit splice it, and I'm happy, happy, happy. Oh, wow. That's, that's good to know. Yeah. And then I also used, um, let's see. Debbie Bliss Angel Mohair in the shade of mint. So it just making this thing so soft. Yeah, can you believe that? It's just Yeah, lovely. it is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and and it's glorious. So <laughs> soft. Yeah, it is really super soft. So <sighs> Yeah. So I just have to start the sleeves and then Wow. Yeah. And hope for a really cool day this oh. summer. I know. <laughs> I can't wait to wear it. <laughs> okay, that was my one. Well, we need to get you way back over here. Okay, good. So we're all in frame again. <laughs> um, I have others, but you guys can do yours. Do one. Okay, so I have three. What do you have, Janet? I have three also. How many do you have? Whoops. Whips. Oh, whips. Well, um, I just brought um, two with me. Okay, so but, we'll... so I do have three, but I did not um, didn't bring, bring one of them today. All right, so I'll go ahead and do this one. So we have a great grandbaby coming, and back in the day I used to crochet all of the baby blankets, but... The last few years they've been getting knitted blankets so the one i'm working on right now is for a baby boy this is the colorful wedges baby blanket by pearl soho it's a free pattern and i think this is so stinking cute the yarn is by hobby and i have some that i haven't started using yet so i can actually show those um so it's Amigo XL, and this is the navy colorway. This is gray melange, and it's 100% acrylic because new moms and washing and all those disgusting things that come out of babies that you want to be able to get out of a blanket <laughs> without ruining something. Um, you know, a little puke, a little poo can ruin a blanket unless it's acrylic. So here we go. Um, so anyway, here's the blanket. I am, I should probably not talk behind it. I don't know yeah, what the sound here, quality it is. For you. Um, I'm about probably two thirds of the way done with this. So it's all done using short rows. I'm not gonna be giving anything away because it's a free pattern, but I just love the way these short rows look. Um, the backside even is kind of cool where you join new yarn. So it's got, you know, like the little um, pearl bump dashes. But this is a garter stitch blanket and it takes one ball to do a wedge. And I have a little bit, like a just a little nubbin left over. And um, I think when I'm finished with this, with the knitting bits, I'm going to go ahead and pick up all the stitches around the outside edge and do probably a four or a five um, stitch I-cord border on it. But I just, it's so squishy. Oh yes. And I, you know, I said earlier, we're not yarn snobs. And so I don't mind even a little bit knitting something 
and 100% acrylic when it comes to one of our little people. Um, you know, they drag these things around when they get big enough and they end up getting dragged on the ground from a stroller and who knows, slammed in a car door when they're covering a car seat. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen. So um, that baby is due in August and I'll have this done in plenty of time. So I had to buy more yarn, of course, and um, I'll later show some things that I picked up from Hobby when I was getting a few more extra skeins. You know, <laughs> that's what we do. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's true. So that was uh, one of mine. Do you want to go? Because I think Claude, or Janet's got two. Okay, sure. Okay, so I also am doing the metamorphic. And Janet explained, you know, the details of it. But I, actually, we're using kind of the same yarns. It's just different colors. So I have, mine is the colors. And I am just so excited about this. This is also the um, uh, Knit Picks Gloss. And that is Blackberry. And then the uh, Yarn Hero uh, color details are um, that's the Birch Sport and it's Daydreamer and it's 100% Merino. Let me turn it the correct way so you can actually see all the the beauty in the, this this work. If you want to hold yeah, it up, it's probably, absolutely, yeah, it's it's probably so easier. And you guys have got Love to these see. Colors. Look at this yarn and the colors, how they're going to change in this. I don't know, maybe you can see it better on this end, but oh. That is going to be so good. Now, what does it take? Two of these? Yeah. Or almost two. They're like 330 yards per. This is sport weight and this is DK weight. So it's interesting that you we alternate oh. between DK and sport. But look at those colors, how that changes. That I'm is just, just loving so that. So gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. I've got sweater envy. <laughs> <laughs> so she made one, Janet made one, and I'm the third one, so I'm catching up. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun sweater to make. It is fun, because you're going through this this yarn and wondering what's coming next. And I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. I get green. I'm a green person, by the way. So Yeah. <laughs> you can't tell that today because you've got, I know. You've got I the have, purples. I have the, yeah, exactly. All, all those good things coming. <laughs> I don't have any green here today. <laughs> Shocking. Oh, I know, right? So Janet's actually the purple person. Out of yes. 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 Love some purple. So, yeah. yes. okay, so um, should you go now? Okay. So a sweater I've been working on is Rialto Ripples um, by Arena and Akiva. That's so cute. And I have been working on this for quite some time. <laughs> I had decided, okay, I'm going to do this lace. It's five, it's a repeat of six stitches. Who needs to put... 69 minutes, it says it looks full. Okay. Wonder if I should go back and look and see. This is probably going to start a new file. That's all right. That's okay, yeah. I hope it's recording okay. You gotta let her sit down. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here we go again. Scooch over. <laughs> okay, you're in great. Good job. Okay, so um, so I, I'm just so anxious about this sweater and getting this done. So I use this um, lovely natural um, alpaca, <laughs> which I've wound up multiple times, so it looks best in the bowl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, it's prime alpaca, and then I use this um, Audine Wool's Interlochen, um, which is a uh, f manufactured fiber, bamboo, and cotton. So that was one of the um, Knit Crate yarns. Yes, this was from Knit Crates. And I don't know what the color way of this is, but it's, it's a beautiful orange. I think that I can... We're going to have some show notes. We hope we can figure it all out. <laughs> <laughs> there should be very thorough show notes 
with the details of everything that we're talking about today. And I've knit something with this orange yarn in the past. I was the one with the Knit Crate subscription. I had canceled it a long time ago, but we were able to purchase additional skeins of yarn. And when I got this, the girls were here and both of them loved it. So mm -hmm. while it was still in stock, I went back and ordered a bunch more of it. So I know that I've got the name of that and you probably do yeah, you've got something in it as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yes. we'll be able to have that for you in in your notes. Sounds good. Sounds excellent. That is just so cool okay. though. And I it's gonna be worth it. Yeah. Yes it is. I, I think I'm just I've gotten anxious and getting each section done of this lace and I just love it with the white and the orange. Mm -hmm. And I want to wear it, so right. It's the I'll get it time. done. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Um, so you want to go? You have three things as well. Yeah, I said, have one so. more. I have one more, and this is the summer news. And so, so this is just kind of funny. I'm just thinking, why am I knitting summer stuff in the summer? Should I be knitting summer stuff in the winter when I so I can be ready to wear it? But I really, it's just, I've just cast it on and I haven't gotten very far with it. Is this the, is it this, top down? Yes, it's okay, a top so it down sweater. Uh, it and it's this way, I guess. And it is, I made it from uh, Rowan Creative Linen, 50% linen, 50% cotton. And I'm knitting the 43.7. Oh, feels really good. Yeah. Yes. I'm getting excited about it. So that is just really beautiful. Let's see. Let's the see. texture oh, yeah. in here is really nice. And this is by Elizabeth Judith. Okay. So, yeah, it's, so far it's been very easy to follow. There are no tricks to it. So, um, just working away. That is so pretty. We haven't mm -hmm. seen this yet. Yeah, they have not seen it yet. You, hadn't ha you didn't have that started last week when we got uh, together. Or I didn't bring it. I think I might have had it started. Oh, that is just it. so good. So it's yes. going to have a nice wide neckline. For yeah, but I'm, I'm not sure I like it that wide. I, I'm not fond of real wide necklines, so, and I don't know if I'm supposed to add add um, ribbing or anything to the top, so I'll have to look and see in the pattern. I, I guess I should have read ahead to figure that one out. <laughs> oh, baby. Did I? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh well that happens <laughs> yes. I mean I we try to read ahead in the patterns just so you know what's coming but it doesn't sometimes we get too <laughs> I get too excited and I just want to dive in and like oh when I get there I'll figure it out yeah <laughs> same with me okay so um my next project is the rocket tea again by Tannis Lavely um same one that Claudia is wearing but I'm doing it in a completely different manner. So I'm using Holst Garn Coast and I've got three different purple colors. So this first one is Freesia and it's just a super pale lavender. I think it's showing up really good, like the camera's picking it up really nicely. Um, so that's one of the colors. The next one is Wisteria, and again, oh, just gorgeous, kind of like a mid-purple. And then the third color is Passion Flower, and it's this deep purple. It's beautiful together. Yeah, so this is the purple that I used on the first one, like the one Claudia is wearing. So it made my mohair look completely different with the purple rather than the charcoal gray. So anyway, these are 55% merino, 45% cotton. And I figured since mohair and coast went so well for the first rocket tee that it would be okay to have one made with all um, of coast. So just a little striped tee. I think it's going to be great when it's mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. um, I've got the difficult parts done. You know, difficult. It's really not a difficult at all. It's probably one of the easier raglans, right? <laughs> Love a v-neck. 
Um, I did make a little modification just like you. Um, I added, I think, an extra repeat on the sleeve, did ribbing, one by one ribbing, and then a, was it a two stitch I cord? Yeah, I think it was a three stitch. Maybe a three stitch? I can't I remember. Uh, I need to know that because I'll have to do it at the bottom. But um, anyway, I will do the same thing at the neck. And then remember, there's one other modification that we made. The pattern calls for yarn overs. Oh, right, on, right, on right, right. On but we all decided we didn't want to have yarn overs on the raglan, so we just, we did our own thing there. That's right, all three of us right. just did the make one left and right on those. Exactly, yeah, I'm not a fan of that and it's kind of funny because we've got other things where we've got yarn overs what mm -hmm. is that one that is the felix the, the bulky or yeah the felix pullover uh -huh. has that gorgeous yarn over but we also did not do it down the side this is yes. just knitting around nothing under the arm um it just goes all the way around but i will use that dark purple um, for the next stitches as well so mm -hmm. hopefully next time we do this um this will be a finished object because it's just going round and round and round. Love it. Um, I think I everybody too. has made a rocket tea by now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we're teaching another girlfriend to yeah. knit and she, her very first project was the rocket tea. Uh -huh. yes. And it's amazing. It looks adorable on her. And she just did it out of one yarn. Yeah, it, it was, was a multicolor. Yeah, it was beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It turned yeah. out really nice. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, Janet, do you have one more? Okay. Um, I haven't started on it yet, but I have the yarns. The semi tumistos I think that's how you say it. Um, but here's a picture of what it looks like. Another sweater with a lot of beautiful lace on it. Um, I did my swatch, which I have here somewhere. <laughs> hmm. you, you did have it somewhere. I did have it. Oh, it's on the floor. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Intermission. <laughs> Oops. Okay. So. Don't I expect per perfection out of this, by the way. <laughs> so I made a little baby size swatch um, out of this gorgeous yarn. And so I used the Rowan Summerlight 4 ply, which is 100% Egyptian cotton. Mm -hmm. So this is some really very yeah. soft yarn. Oh, super soft. And holding it with the Juniper Moon Farms Finley Lace Weight. And fresco is oh, the color of this that, one. That feel good. Yeah, it's really that's nice. And <laughs> so I'm on gauge uh, with a size six needle, oh. and so I'm really anxious to get this on the needles today. So hopefully by the next episode, you will see this. Uh, not we finished, but at least in progress. In progress. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So that one you said is knitting for breakfast, right? Yes, knitting for breakfast. And so the name of that, because I'm also, it's it's one of my works in progress that I'll be showing here in a minute, but um, it means Wuthering Heights. And it's an Italian, wow. that's why we can't figure out how to pronounce it. Because, <laughs> uh, you good know, to know. We're, I don't know, language challenge? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I am anyway. I get English. I get English, but that's about it. <laughs> bongos. I can say bongos. Bongos, yeah, but then you have to understand how they tell you to get there. <laughs> that could be the problem. <laughs> um, so you, do you have another work in progress? Nope, not with me. Okay, so I have one more, and it's the one that Janet just talked about. So oh, wow. I, oh, this is wow. exciting. I know, right? I just started this two days ago. And I have to tell you, this thing is a really cool, addicting pattern. So I'm using Cascade Yarns Ultra Pima Cotton in the color Cobalt. Oh, so gorgeous. look at the sheen on that yarn. Ugh, that is so good. Oh, yeah. This has been in my stash for 
I want to say maybe this might be the third summer. And last year I put everything away because I felt like I was kind of done. We did knit quite a few summer things last year. Yes. And I thought, you know what? I don't want to see summer yarn anymore. I just want to put it away and not deal with it. So I got it out this year because guess what? There are too many cute patterns. <laughs> <laughs> so there are. here we go. Okay, so Janet, this is what it's gonna look like oh my in God. just a couple days wow. time. Um, yeah, so. Oh, I'm jealous. Yeah, I'm gonna I know, right sweater now. envy. Oh. Yeah, so here's what this is looking like now. I am, I think I'm on row 20 of 40 some, maybe 47 wow. or 48. Now I decided on this to do the size five. So it's 42.4 inches. It's 100% cotton, but it is DK weight cotton. And so I was a little concerned if I made it, the next size down would have been the 40. And I have a 40 inch bust, so I was a little concerned that if it fit too closely, mm -hmm. it could be a little sweaty. And who wants to sweat on something that glorious, mm -hmm. right? Not I. The, <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> yeah. The other thing is Marshalls just moved from, I don't know, what, Frost five, point, five yes. miles away or so um, to like three miles down the road. And it's like right by my Kroger, by the Costco, ooh, by all the places. So I picked up a pair of white pants with a blue floral pattern. I don't have anything to match them, so guess what? <laughs> oh, that's gonna look I'm absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. yeah so sure. I'm really uh, looking forward to getting this done. And I'll tell you, I found a YouTube video that tells you how to do bobbles. I don't know on the dark. I'm not sure if you're able to see all these beautiful little bobbles on here, but there are a lot of them. And I don't. I didn't want to have to keep turning my work to do the bobbles the standard way. And I found a video that shows you how to pearl backwards oh, so you don't oh, have to wow. turn it. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, nice. that will also be in our show notes because um, we're going to make sure we figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm super excited about this. I have plenty of yarn and so you can see how far I am on it and this is what I've got left of the first skein. So it's kind of falling apart right now. Wow, <laughs> with all the baubles and everything, that's, yeah. that's yeah. really good. Yeah. And I'm sure she'll have that done next week. Um, I'll tell you what, <laughs> you guys, did you She's feel, a fast knitter. feel that mm -hmm. up here on the... Oh, wow, yeah. That wow. almost feels like you're... Gorgeous. Yeah, like that, it's uh, soft. Isn't that crazy? Oh, yes. uh -huh. And it's going to have that little bit of a sheen to it. So yeah, I am totally excited about it. I'm ex very excited to get started on yeah, that I as mean, well. Yeah. So now that you've seen this, yes. you're going to have I'm yours ready. going. <laughs> and I will have markers in it this time. Yeah. Oh, I did. <laughs> it takes a lot and boy is yes. it growing. So I'm hoping I didn't make a bad choice in going up to the 42.4 inches, but yeah. Um, that's my hope. Okay, so that is really it, I think, with our works in progress, right? So we went to the Mid-Ohio Fiber, Fiber Festival. To, hey, do they know where we're from? To, oh, you know what? We haven't even said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are definitely amateurs here. Go ahead. <laughs> we're from near Dayton, Ohio, Centerville and Beaver Creek area. Yeah, so yeah. we're... It's south of... East and south of Dayton. Yeah. Yeah. So Janet is in Beaver Creek. Beaver Creek, yes. Um, Molly Beaver. is in Beaver Creek, and we're podcasting from my house in Bellbrook so yeah and oh we didn't even say the date duh today is <laughs> June 28th 2022 yes so we'll make sure that that's also in the show notes the the um time so 
Are, does anybody want to talk about upcoming projects? Like, do you have yarn that you want to talk about? I can show you some yarn, and I because you've gauge swatched, right? Well, I kind of did. I was really more interested in figuring out the yarn. So this is yarn that I bought at the yarn festival, and it's a Yakagani yarn. It's it's I have to look at. It's such it's so beautiful. It's so hot. And so I was trying to decide what color to put with it. And so Janet had just gotten this yarn from Wool Warehouse. It's a Drops uh, Kid oh, Silk yarn. That is so beautiful. Yeah. I hope it's not blowing out, so I'll hold these two together so you yeah. can see, because that is just, oh. Yeah, so this is a raspberry color, and yeah. it has orange in it. Yeah, it really, you can um, see it close It looks up. like the like the strand has the orange and then it has the raspberry mohair on it. Oh, is that how so, that is? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Really so it goes really well with this. Yeah, it does. And so I just did a tiny little piece just to see how the two went together. So if you can see that, and I think it's perfect. Oh, I love it. And yeah. so this is also going to be another rocket tee because I just, I just saw this. They had an example of one with this slub yarn and I just thought it was gorgeous. It gives you a little bit of texture, and I think it's just gonna, they're gonna be beautiful together. Yeah. So, and let's see, I'm gonna tell you exactly the content here. I have to pull that Did game. you talk about it being that slub yarn? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I just like I mean, it. that is just, I, you can't yeah. really see the So thing. it's called Yak Agani Yarns, and it's Yak Slub. I used oh, to go yeah. kayaking on the Yakagani years ago, and I used to do stained glass, and there's a beautiful glass from there. Oh, wow. And anyway, it's this 90% superwash merino wool and 10% nylon, and it's 438 yards per skein, which... That's generous. That's generous. So yeah, I have grams. two of them, and so I may end up making it long sleeve or three-quarter sleeve. We'll see how it goes, so... Yeah, so I'm excited about getting that one on the this, the uh, needles, and this is called Summer Sher Sherbert. I think it's a perfect name for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I actually think Robin from Yarnbirds is the one who had the samples hanging right outside of her. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's the one that had a, that sweater that inspired me, and I didn't buy this from her because she didn't have it, but I bought it somewhere else. So to, speaking of her, right? Yeah, she Huge gave us Huge shout out to Robin at, from Yarnbirds. Yeah. I think we all bought yarn oh, yeah. from her. Well, we, <laughs> yeah. we all bought lots of yarn from yeah, her that did. day. So Robin, yes. if you're watching, we sure enjoyed ourselves. And thank you for, for these the bags. amazing bags. Yeah. So these are reusable vegetable bags, but okay, hello. How can you not use those as a cute <laughs> project I should use bag. my bag for my yarn. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. right. Yes. I have mine here also. Oh, you did? You brought it? Okay. Yes. So, um, one of the yarns that I bought from Robin. Oh, there you go. Woo! <laughs> did you bring yours? Or I not didn't today? bring mine today. I was <laughs> not thinking. I was just trying to figure out where did I Well, play? next week you'll have that in it, so you'll be able to yeah, show there it. there you go. Um, so, I bought Suro yarn from the oh, Fiber yeah. Company because, oh my gosh, look at that. So, it... <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing stuff. The name is, or the colorway is Sublime. And it is. It is Sublime. It is a brushed blend of Surrey alpaca, organic cotton, and merino wool. And it's kind of like holding a baby bunny. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, it's that soft. So I ended up getting five skeins of this. I got a different colorway that's kind of like a blue gray and I didn't bring that over here today but man that is some gorgeousness and I have that mm. same one but it's in an off-white and the, it's got the thread that is sort well it's kind of a light gray and it's got black thread through it oh that's right yeah it almost looks like newsprint kind right, of a thing it's real pretty yeah mm. so I got some La, La Bien Aimé. We, we didn't want to make this too long this time because um, we all have a lot of yarn. <laughs> yes, for that, sure. And, and I, I bought all... some gorgeous um, scout, oh, yeah, scout, scout yarn that was a beautiful yes, mulberry yes. purple. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so 
what should we talk about? I guess uh, I did mention Hobby Yarn Company. Absolutely. Yes. yes. So we have no idea how often we're going to do this. And we're thinking maybe every other week we get together. Or a month or whatever. Yeah, once a month, every other week. We'll have to figure out how much we have and how long we want to record yeah. each time because, you know, we do buy a lot of yarn and we make a lot of things. Stuff. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> and we have a lot of fun doing it. And we do. <laughs> yeah, yes. well, yeah, for sure. There's that. So hopefully we can figure out how to get all the notes in and make everything kind of coherent and yeah. make sense yeah yeah mm -hmm. but if you're watching thanks yeah <laughs> thank, thank you really so much it. yes we'll see you next you. time yeah like and subscribe yeah <laughs> exactly all right all right thanks. bye for now bye. bye for now all right let's see how this works <laughs> that was I think it went well. It was fine.